I have seen that kind of conspiracy theory. Bill Gates wants to put that chip in your brain way too many times already. Mm-hmm. I've seen that way too many times. And well, I I think that once you hear it enough times, it starts to become a part of you. That didn't become a part of me, but it, uh, it would still really annoyed me. You you taking my mind a bit off track, but let me go on that and say, do you think COVID? However, not being new really, but having emerged the way it emerged, also should make us as humans aware of how we have created an imbalance in the universe. I feel like that's an interesting subject. Uh, have we created imbalance in the universe? I feel like we don't create uh, an imbalance of the uni- uh, in the universe because we basically are nothing compared to the universe. Uh, I know this is, gets a bit self-existential, but uh, we don't really mean anything in terms of the universe because we are just this tiny speck on our uh, tiny planet, in our tiny system, in our tiny galaxy, in our tiny cluster, and it just goes on and on. And then, you, when you start zooming out, you really start to see that we don't really have any effect on the universe as a whole. We don't really have an imbalance. And there are probably thousands of uh, other civilizations that, uh, that are uh, very far away, but also have advanced just as much as us, or even more than us. This kind, that kind of thing. So that this, uh, I think, uh, really shows that we don't create an imbalance in the universe because we basically can't even do anything in re- relative to mm. the universe. Okay, that's very powerful. So let's jump with that argument then to climate.